Okay, uh, I feel like I needed to record a preface for this video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. It's not some fancy transition video. It's not some vibey music video. It's really just like a sit down talk about what um, my experience with um, going through the season where I've been going to Full Sail has been. It's not like most videos that I've watched, like that I tried. This is kind of one that I feel like I wanted to see before I was making the choice to go. Um, it's real and it's really just about my experience and it's not gonna be exactly what you might expect, but this was my experience. So just sit back, relax. Uh, it's kind of just a talking head video. I'll try to maybe spice some stuff up in the editing. This is future Jack um, <laughs> trying to piece together this video last second. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're about to go to a time where it is bedhead Jack early in the wee hours of the morning um, getting ready to spill his heart out with no script. So let's, um, let's transition. Ready? <laughs> so I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. Um, it uh, was something that I was really looking for before I decided to co come to Full Sail that I was like scouring YouTube to find a, a video that, that was like, just had like an honest opinion that wasn't biased about Full Sail. Cause Full Sail is advertised like it's like Disney World. And then you get there and you're like, this is kind of whack. <laughs> but it's not at the same time. It's complicated. I got about uh, three months left until I graduate. I know what classes are coming up. I've already done projects that are in that class that I'm about to take. So I feel confident that I can give like an honest opinion of what it, it really is like. Um, so yeah, let's get started. For me, coming to Orlando was one of the most exciting experiences like of my life. I finally got to live on my own. I had two roommates I didn't even know that I was rooming in with that I met through Full Sail's uh, uh, student, um, it's like a dating app for for roommates, <laughs> the roommate list. <laughs> and I, I wanted to, um, to be my own person for the first time in my life and I actually got that opportunity to do that when I came down here. I remember the moment that my parents left, I was like, what now? <laughs> And it was crazy. It's just the weirdest feeling of moving on and and accepting change and allowing that to allowing yourself to not just not move on because you're afraid. And something that I really wanted to hammer down on here when I moved here was that I didn't want to do things out of fear anymore. Um, I made a video about that in my Who Am I, talking about this my experience with living in like bondage to fear. And when I moved down here, I decided like I want to do everything I can to, if I feel fear to do something, to do it because I feel afraid. So I started stepping out. I got plugged in with this local church down here called Faith Assembly um, and their college program called The Voice, which allowed me just to have people to give me advice and, and feedback as I'm in this season that it's like I'm finally discovering who I am, but I still don't want to lose who I am to, to the things that, that'll drown you like things that college kids kind of go to initially like drugs or alcohol or parties and living the wild life like I didn't I didn't have a desire for that I knew that if I went down that route I would lose who I was as like a human and I didn't want that um, and I wanted to give everything to God and I did and I told God that I was gonna give him this season of my life and that he has full permission to to go and move as much as he wants to that whatever he tells me to do I'm gonna shift in that direction because I know that if I give him this season of my life that it's going to impact the rest of my life forever and so I told him that at the very beginning and he he honored that this time at Full Sail has been this trial by fire and it has been an experience that has moved me not necessarily in the direction that I thought I was gonna go in, in terms of my career but but in the direction that God wanted me to go to and and I know that this is a video talking about if you should go to full sale or not but I think the reality is if you have that firm foundation with God and that, that trust in that he's gonna take care of you and, and you know that he's the provider and you know that he's gonna, he's gonna protect you. All you have to do is step out wherever you feel pulled to step out to and he's gonna guide you. And for me, he guided me here and, and being here was the best place I could ever be. I, 
I could not have grown, I could not have experienced the things I've experienced to be introduced to the things I've been introduced to without being in Orlando. It wasn't necessarily about Full Sail, but God used Full Sail to get me here so I could get to where He wanted me to get to for the next step, the next step, and the next step. Continually just moving on and going forward and pressing towards the destiny that He has for my life and the things that He wants me to do. And Full Sail was a tool. And, and the college you choose is just a tool. And if you think it's the end all be all, you're fooling yourself because it's not. It is just a tool for the next step of your life. For everybody who's desiring to be like a famous director or writer, director or producer or whatever, Full Sail or any film school can't really give you that. It's not a guarantee and that's scary, but it's all about the effort that you put into it. And with Full Sail, you can go through the whole career, the whole course, and just slide under the radar and graduate the bachelor's degree not knowing anything about film, especially because I started during COVID time. So there was no on-campus activity whatsoever. Well, there was some, but you had to like put an effort in to go. And so I, at the beginning of Full Sail, I went to, to do advanced productions, which are just these big final project productions that the kids at the end of their film program put on. They have like Alexa, Ari Alexa cameras and like really expensive lighting and they build their own sets and it's like really fun. It was something that when I first started, I was like, this is why I came to film school. I cannot believe that I made it here. It was so exciting and I got everything that I wanted to get out of it. And then once I did that, then God was like, okay, now we're gonna go in this direction. Now that you've gotten what you need there, now I'm gonna take you over here and you're gonna have to leave that behind for a season, but that's okay. And just trust me, cause I'm taking you somewhere else. The Bible says that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined the things that the Lord has prepared for those who love him. And it's just this thing that I've been constantly reminding myself of that I'm not following in the path of anybody who's had success. I'm going in a path that God is taking me that's gonna get me into an area of success, an area of life that, that nobody has ever gotten to because it's, it's like individual and unique for my life for what he has for me. And I think everybody gets caught up in this mindset of conforming to how the people who were successful did it because then maybe you can replicate it and get a taste of what they had but all you're doing is giving yourself like a shadow of what they had because what they had to do what you look at bill gates or steve jobs or anybody who's who's just got these super successful companies like they had to to lead, like most of them were college dropouts because they realized that that if they conform to to the um the things that that society tries to get you to conform to they were just going to be another cog in the machine and they were never going to have a unique impact on the world and and for everybody that is going that is thinking about going to full sale because you believe that you're that kind of person you got to understand that full sale is another one of those schools it's just another one that they try to get you to conform to a specific area that will just make you kind of a cog in the machine and it's not bad because it can be used for good, because all things can work together for the good of those who love God. And so you have that foundation in God, and, and God can use that for so much greater things for His glory, not for yours. You have to let go of your own selfish desires of having a career. And once you can do that, it's like if you cling to your life, you'll lose it. If you let go of your life, you'll save it. And that's what God has been showing me in this time at Full Sail. And, and he's used this school to get me to where I am now, where I have the most peace I've ever had in my life, the most joy I've ever had in my life. I can see his blessing in so many different areas of my life. I have a relationship with this girl named Carla that is amazing. And it's something that I could have never done in my own strength that God had provided because I've let go. And there's things like that that, that will happen and will just be like, if you let go, and let God, he's gonna give you things you could have never done in your own strength. For those that are thinking about and are in the process of stepping out into a season that they're scared about, if you can have that foundation, no matter what direction you go, you are going to be okay. Because all you have to do is turn on the car, and you gotta just start start pressing the gas, and God's gonna take the steering wheel and just, and just steer you in the right direction. And it's something that, that takes all the stress off of your life, it takes all the pressure off of your life, to be perfect, it, it, it's, you realize the grace that, that he has for you when you mess up, he's got grace to cover it and his blood covers it. And all you gotta do is repent and come back to him. And it's the key that will unlock your fullest experience in life. The fullness that there is in the adventure that, that 
that, that God has for you in the life that, that He wants to give you. It's like I don't even need to watch movies or play video games anymore because my life is an adventure now. I'm literally living a movie because of the sacrifice and the surrender. That's what Full Sail has given me. I know that a lot of people say that this school is a scam. I know that there is a lot of negative feedback about this school, but I was like, I feel that this is where I'm supposed to be. And so I stepped out. I had, even my, my film teacher was saying like, look, college is supposed to be a time that, that you get to just experience life to the fullest and you get to just enjoy it. It shouldn't be this, this pressure filled, almost early career job that's like before you actually get out into the industry, you're already in the industry. He's like, it, it should be a time that you just get to enjoy it and relax. And I was like, yeah, like I get that, but I, I know that my life isn't gonna be done when I graduate college. That college is a stepping stone to the next point. And Full Sail is a, had a 20 month program where I could get past that to the fastest I could do it. And that's what attracted me to this school and, and also the, the equipment that they had and, and the, the experience that they promised. And, and it was delivered to me because I stepped out and, and went for it. Like I, I wasn't invited on set, I walked on set and I said, hey, I wanna help out and I want to, to be a part of this, can I help? And there was a kid that gave me his Instagram and it got me plugged in and I got to experience all this, I got to have all this experience experience of what it's like to be on a film set to see if I even wanted that. Full Sail gave that to me. And so I, I highly recommend that if you feel pulled to this school, especially if you have that firm foundation in Christ, you're gonna be okay and do it. Like anywhere that you feel pulled, even if it's not Full Sail, if it's a place that that is so difficult, but God can, in that desperation of the difficult nature of that season, you can get closer to your relationship with God. Like he can use it to accelerate you into the destiny that he has for you. And it'll change your life and it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Cause I'm on the other side of it now. I'm still in debt, like that's still there, but it's, it's worth it because I look at all of that and I'm like, I have gone through so much growth in this time where I've been independent and chasing after God and I have become this person that I never would have imagined I'd become. I have this peace I never would have imagined I could have because I had to step out and because I did step out and because I trusted God. So don't listen to the world. Don't listen to the, the negative reviews. If you feel like this is where you want to go, it's not going to be what they advertise, but no matter what it is, you can be okay if you have that relationship with Christ. So I, I encourage you to, to make sure you have that solidified before you put yourself in this kind of situation. Because if you don't, I know friends that are struggling with depression, anxiety, that, that have lost their self-identity and their self-worth because they don't know how to navigate this school because it is really difficult to navigate. And, and if you allow it to consume you, you will be consumed and you will be a cog in this machine. And if it's only by the grace of God and the power of God that you can get through this as a stronger person and become a better version of yourself on the other side. It doesn't mean that your career is locked in place, but you don't need that security. All you need is a security and a trust in God and you will be okay. That's my advice on the full sale. Like that's my advice on this season of your life. That's my advice on life in general. Um, there's so much reward that God has planned and in store and I've seen it and I, I've seen the dominoes that he's tipping over that knocks one after the other, after the other, after the other. There's things that he set up when I first moved here that I can go back and, and look at and be like, that was the setup for what I have now. And I didn't even see it then, but God knew exactly what he was doing to get me to, to be able to have the blessing now because I've honored him with my time and, and he's honoring me and it's the coolest place you can ever be in your whole entire life. <laughs> so good luck. <laughs>